When you say Gujarat, the immediate thing that comes to mind is either Dhokla or the run of Kutch. Here is a short vlog of my three and a half day stay in the fifth largest state in our country. We were already in the cab at 4.30 a.m. But still, the airport was super crowded at 5 a.m. A quick run through the escalator and we were the first on the bus. But that didn't matter because the line to board the aircraft was long. But an early flight meant an amazing view of the sunrise. But hey, I had work to do. I was sitting and editing the Mahindra Bolero vlog in the aircraft. Soon we started to descend and landed in Rajkot. We quickly picked up our bags and then a Toyota Innova came to pick us up. En route, we realized there's no social distancing here. But the road seemed fine and the cab driver stopped over to fill fuel. The roads got better, we saw windmills and then traffic hit us badly. So we stopped at a food mall to eat traditional Gujarati food. But Nuren didn't like it, so she had a cold coffee which she couldn't finish. So... I'm not having. No, no, no. I'm not, not at all. Not having. It's good. Stop. Ha. Back in the cab, only to realize that the driver was a big fan of Ajay Devgan. The roads continued to be nice, but the traffic sense, not so much. So the cabbie decided to race a train, only to be stopped at the railway crossing. But we got some empty roads and then a toll booth came and soon we reached the hotel. Alright, just reached the hotel. Was a really hectic drive, a very long drive thi and unfortunately roads are not good and what not. Forget all that, that I've already told you guys. But most importantly, I've room the room. Almost 2.30 hore hai, bahut bhook lag so I'm going to have a quick lunch. After lunch, I think Nurain is going to sleep because she's super tired. She was sleeping in the car as well. I did not sleep in the car as well. I was actually doing some work in the car as well. And now I'm going to sit post-lunch to edit the G-Wagon vlog. So I have no time to scope any of the time because I have so much work to finish. And I've hardly slept one, one and a half hour at night. But the shoot should start hone wala hai, which is going to become really very hectic. But that's how life is. It's actually going to be fun because it's a new thing altogether for me, of course, because uh, it's a web series with Tripoto and uh, it's basically India at extremes, catching the sunrise and the sunset of the first in India. I mean, the first sunrise and the first sunset in India. So right now I'm going to do a quick lunch and then maybe get ready for tomorrow's shoot because script bhi hai, wo bhi to yaad karni hai, kar kya mein zindagi mein. We had a vegetarian lunch because option nahi tha yaar. The pool was cool, but there were cooler things like foosball where Nuren beat me big time. So basically, I won the foosball. Three, one, kuch bhi. So I decided, let's play pool. Bohat hi ghatiya. Where again, Nurin was just so much better. After taking a nice nap in the afternoon, we went for the same vegetarian dinner. But along with paneer, we had dal chawal and fried rice too. Next day, we got up at 4 a.m. The cars were here by 5 a.m. and we headed out for the first day of the shoot. I am shooting with Tripoto for a web series, driving the MG Cluster. The camera team was busy setting up the cameras and I was busy getting bored. Good morning. So we have come here right yeah, now to shoot morning. on the beach. Huh? Good morning. Energy chale ki na because I'm conserving the energy for the <laughs> talking no part. Good morning. Acha. Nothing is. Garmi ho rahi kafi yahan pe because we are on the beach in Gujarat in it's summers. Like but bolte but ho yaar, ye, mujhe apna jacket dena pada isko which I have actually taken for a further journey. Usko abhi jacket padi hui hai. Itni thand lagti hai. And you know what? Because she I'm wants wearing, to actually wait, 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 go wait, wait, wait. for vacation to Canada. Because I'm wearing cold shoulders. Cold shoulders? PJ. She gives me cold shoulders. She doesn't wear cold shoulders. She gives me cold shoulders. So Nuren decided to take the ATV for a spin. And believe it or not, I sat pillion, which was a stupid idea because my clothes got dirty. Thankfully though, the color of the sand and my pants were the same. So nobody really noticed. We left the beach and since Nuren was driving, I don't know what she did or how she did it, but gaadi ka fuel hi khatam ho gaya. Just kidding, it was already low on fuel. But since we hadn't had a thing since morning, we headed for brunch. Having even more cottage cheese, manje paneer today. So the shoot is going fine. Actually, it's very delayed. The timetable is skip not able to follow. Now the thing is that uh, we are waiting right now here because the cab obviously cannot keep up with the Gloucester. And uh, we are just going to shoot more and more and more. and more. Shoot hai, shoot hai, shoot hai. Bhi sab in the car. Everyone is sleeping in the car. But hopefully shoot will be done because it's be hectic, hai, parasu bhi hectic, hai, maybe postpone hoga, matlab, din shoot karenge. That is the plan for the day. But right now I am kind of feeling stressed because I don't shoot karna. Sab shoot ho hai, automatic. Hai. 
Back on the road, we would occasionally stop for the shoot and then get back to driving again on the wonderful roads, only to be stopped by animals. By the way, this is Tanya Kanijo, my co-anchor in the series, and she falls asleep randomly in the car. She's a travel influencer. The roads got narrow and the drive became even more fun. Later in the day, animals again made us come to a halt as we headed to the run of Kutch. The road to the same is nothing short of mind-boggling. And the entry point? Very quiet. Till the hustle and bustle of the camels induced cheer on the white sand desert. So now made it to the run of Kutch and the uh, atmosphere is electric, white sand. But because water level is rising, that's the reason why. Obviously, it's very difficult to walk here right now. But that is the reason why the run festival gets over so soon. Anyways, I'll shoot back here. Tanya and Noreen went on a walk and as we finished the shoot, the sun went down fast and as they say, the night is dark and full of terror. So we headed to the stay with a boot full of luggage. We stayed in a cottage which had a very traditional vibe to it. The food was also amazing and after a long day, it was time to call it a night. But first, let's hear this. The next day, I hand combed my hair, Tanya played cricket and they served us theplas. You know the reference. Anyways, we started our drive but Nuren didn't join us. She had IT on her mind. The roads were as always amazing and so was the drive. Shooting was happening en route and we went through small towns. Saw birds of the same feather flocking together and the windmill of course. We stopped for lunch, had dal, paneer and really unhealthy rotis aka butter, garlic, cheese, naan. Our next stop was some stupid cave and while the drive to the same took time, it smelled of bad pee. Yikes. The crew decided to feed the hungry dog something and then we were back off the road. I then sneakingly asked Tanya some things and here is how it went. So in any case, I was trying out some online dating because we were very interested in it. So at that time, I was trying out some online dating so I knew that I would like to do a And the video that I thought of was that I'll go out on multiple dates with different people I meet through Bumble uh, and see how that goes. And the date concepts were, the first date was wall climbing, uh, the second date was Segway on Rajpath uh, and the third date was baking a cake together. Uh, so, uh, but I was looking around for people who could be a part of the video okay. because I uh, wanted people who would come to the video with consent, uh, obviously. Uh, I asked a lot of my friends who can come, who can come. Two, three slots were already booked, but third slot me. Like Tanya ka swayambar. It was sort of. Let's say, let's not call it that though, because one of the persons was actually my neighbor. Are you recording? <laughs> I have got my content for the vlog. <laughs> then we headed to Lakpat, and Tanya decided she needed even more makeup. The fort was almost empty, and we parked the car and climbed up to see an amazing view. Yes, the international border was around, but it was very, very windy. Then we climbed down to head back to the car and get out of the fort to chase the last sunset of India at Guhar Moti. Unfortunately though, the roads were not that great here. That's the reason you can't even see the map on the infotainment system because we are bouncing again and again. But Tanya pushed the car hard. I said my prayers and thankfully we arrived at the right time to see the sunset. After a couple of hours shooting, it was time to head back which was a bit dicey because we got lost a couple of times and then animals randomly jumped in front of the car. A couple of hours later, we finally reached to have some nice dinner. Next day morning, we again headed to the run of Kutch for some dynamic shots. Yeah, the camera was f***. And then went for a camel ride to get into the middle of the vast white desert. The camel didn't talk to me though. While returning, we saw people doing garba out of the blue. Then we drove to breakfast, which I also don't remember what it was. From there, some nice curvy roads greeted us. And of course, there are some amazing straight roads there too. We stopped at the Tropic of Cancer for some pictures and then Nuren drove us to lunch. Again, the same unhealthy yet mm, delicious food. It was time to head back, so an Innova Krista dropped us to Rajkot, where we stayed for the night. The hotel owner had a thing for cricket, and a buffet dinner later, we called it a night. Next day, our Uber to the airport was a Maruti Eco. Were we being kidnapped? Nuren went to Hyderabad, I went to Mumbai, and that is the end of the vlog.